Hello and welcome back to Patrick Henry High School where the Marion Scarlet Hurricanes lead the Lady Rebels 41-27 here. Rebels really need to get on a roll here to start the fourth period. Marion gets the ball here to start it as it looks like number 12. Jordan Williams is going to bring it up the floor here for the Scarlet Hurricanes. Williams for three, no good. Rebounded by number 34, Renika Scott. She puts it back in there. For Marion, now it's 43-27 here. The so Lady Rebels really got themselves in a hole. Morgan Yarber here in the corner, going to pass it back out to McCauley. Deskins now has the ball to McCauley. McCauley inside the women. It's going to be a, almost a steal there by Bernika Scott. It's going to be Deskins for a contested three. No good. Rebounded by Richardson on the inside for Marion. She's going to pass it back out to Atwood. Here comes Marion on the fast break. They're going to slow it up, though. Williams on the drive, no good, rebounded by Sam McCauley. McCauley's going to bring it back down the floor here for the Rebels. She's going to fake a three there. Throw it back out to Yarber. Yarber back to McCauley inside to Wilmoth. Wilmoth with the post move, no good, rebounded by Yarber. Yarber misses, rebounded, loose ball actually on the rebound as Bernika Scott brings it back down the floor. Lay in, no good, but looks like she's going to be fouled. That's going to be two free throws coming for Bernika Scott. Looks like that's a foul on Sam McCauley. That's her third. Jade Miller is set to check in for the Rebels. So we've got 6.44 to go here in the fourth period. The Lady Rebels trail after that miss by Bernika Scott on the first free throw. 43-27 the Hurricanes lead. It looks like number 12, Jordan Williams, is going to check out as number 24, Cox, is back in for the Hurricanes. Second free throw here by Scott is good. So now it's 44-27 here as Patrick Henry brings it back up the floor here. 6.40 to go in the fourth period. Deskins with it inside to top of the key to Wilmoth. Wilmoth trying to turn, make something happen. Nothing there. Deskins for three. Good. Assist by Wilmoth. Good shot there by Emily Deskins. Marion's bringing it back down the floor here. Looks like number 20, Wagner. Has it. She's being defended by Miller. Miller to Atwell, or Wagner to Atwell, excuse me. Richardson at the top of the key. Marion looking to drive here, unable to. Throws it back out to Bernika Scott. Scott back to Cox. Cox to Margaret Wagner for three. No good. Rebounded by Emily Deskins. Deskins down court here. She throws it to Miller. Miller right back to Deskins. Yarber has it. She's going to get it inside to Wilmoth. Wilmoth sets up for a shot. Two shot. Two-point shot, no good, excuse me. Rebounded by number 20, Wagner. Wagner brings it back down the floor. Wagner, no look pass out to Cox. Cox to Atwood. Atwood's three-pointer, no good. She's going to be fouled, though it looks like, by Emily Deskins. See who they call that on. Yeah, it's going to be on Emily Deskins, so it's going to be two free throws coming for Callie Cox. First free throw by Cox is up and no good. A little bit too strong there. Looks like number 32, Kate Pennington checks in and so does number 50, Mackenzie Richardson for Benika Scott. Benika Scott, excuse me. And number 22, Whitney Anderson. Rebound there on the second miss there for Marion by Tyree Wilmoth. And now the Rebels look to work it back down the floor. Jade Miller with the ball, throws it back out to Deskins for a wide open three, no good. Rebounded by Tyree Wilmoth. Wilmoth tries to put it back up. She's fouled and one. Good post move there by Tyree Wilmoth after she got the rebound. She's fouled on the inside by number 50, Mackenzie Richardson. That's her first. That's her team's fifth foul. The Rebels have six team fouls. Wilmoth to the line here to try to finish a three-point play. Wilmoth is able to cash in there from the charity stripe, and that's finalized that three-point play there. So it's 44-33 now. The Lady Rebels have cut it back to an 11-point game. It's like Atwood's got it here at the top of the key back out to Pennington. Pennington's called for a travel. That's a turnover 
on Marion. So the Rebels are going to get it right back here. Pass to Miller. Miller back to Deskins as they cross half court here. That's Jade Miller for a wide open three, and it's good. Nothing but net. 44-36 now the Lady Rebels trail. We got 450 to go here in the fourth period, and the Lady Rebels have a flair for the dramatic here the last couple weeks or last couple games. Both went into overtime. That's a three-pointer right there by number 20, Margaret Wagner. No good. It's going to go out of bounds, and so the Rebels are going to retain possession. We've got a substitution as number 50, Mackenzie Richardson, checks out, and number 10, Baker Cullop, is back in here for the Hurricanes. Rebels set to get it here. It looks like Marion's trying to get a little full-court press going. Rebels have numbers here as they get it to Miller. Miller on the drive. She gets fouled. Actually, they're going to call a charge on Jade Miller. So they're going to say that Atwood had her feet set there as they were going into fast breaks. That was good, good play there by Atwood. Close call right there for Patrick Henry as they had numbers. Looks like Morgan Yarber checking back in here for the Rebels. She comes in for Hannah Carver. Rebels are putting on a little pressure of their own here. As Atwood brings it back down to court, that's going to be a three taken by Baker Cullop. No good. Rebounded by Wild. Wild's getting trapped. She's going to throw it back out to Yarber. Yarber back to Wild. Rebels pass half court there as Deskins gets it. Wilmoth on the drive. She's going to pass it back out to Yarber, who sets up for a wide open two. It's good. She's nailed that right there from around the free throw line. She's been money. 44-38 now the Lady Rebels trail the Hurricanes. Looking for the drive there is Wagner. They're going to call a timeout here, Marion is. 32nd timeout, the Lady Rebels trail the Hurricanes 44-38 as we go into this 32nd timeout. And we've got an interesting stat here. Sorry about that. We've got... Margaret Wagner almost has a double-double. And Tyree Wilmoth almost has a double-double. Yarber has four points. Excuse me, eight points. And You've got the stats. You do it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, I we've can't got keep up with your crazy <laughs> stat line. <laughs> yeah, uh, Margaret Wagner almost has a double-double for the uh, Lady Hurricanes. And we have two double-double alerts for the Rebels. We have Tyree Wilmoth and Morgan Yarber are both really close. Okay, yeah, you sorted that out. You've got numbers all over the place up there. I can't keep up with you. Just look at the right side. The left side is the chicken scratch side. <laughs> Man got, has got the ball here on the inbounds. They're going to work it around the post here. Tyree Wilmoth goes for the steal. It's going to be a loose ball on the floor. It's going to be picked up by the Rebels. It's going to be a jump ball called. It's going to go to Patrick Henry. Like, literally, I'm not complaining or anything, <laughs> but every jump ball has went to Patrick Henry. I, I, I really don't remember it going to Marion any. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it has. I'm not saying anything about the officiating, yeah, but sure I, don't, I, I can't recall it. It's going to be Jade Miller. Looks like she was going to turn it over, bounce it off of Marion defender, and laid it in. So, we'll take that. It's a four-point game now, 3.30 to go. Marion's looking to drive. They're going to pass it back out here. Really taking their time here, Marion is. As Cox has it, she's going to throw it out to Wagner. Wagner's being defended by Miller. Wagner drives towards the top of the key. Marion's just really having a hard time doing anything right now. Rebels aren't allowing any sort of drives to the basket. There's Cox on the drive. She's going to pass it back out to Cullen. Wanted a foul right there, Marion did on Morgan Yarber, but Yarber was able to get out of the way of the contact. Yarber with the steal off a bad pass. Rebels are on the fast break here. They don't have numbers, though. It's three on one as Morgan Yarber was driving it down. Jade Miller, easy, lay well, about a 10-foot jumper there. No good. It goes out of bounds off of Marion, though. So the Rebels keep possession here. As Morgan Yarber is going to check it in here on the baseline, she's going to get it to Tyree Wilmoth. Wilmoth to Deskins in the corner. Back to Wilmoth at the top. Wilmoth in the corner to Wild. Wilmoth on the drive. She's going to throw it. It's going to go out of bounds. It's tipped by number 12, Williams. She was trying to get it inside there to Morgan Yarber. Rebels still have it down here on the baseline. We've got 2.35 to go. 44-40, the Lady Rebels trail the Hurricanes. Lady Rebels have not led in this game for 
for any amount of time. Wilmoth gets it on the inside and's fouled. She's going to go to the line here for two. Lady Rebels trailed early three to nothing when Wagner hit that opening three to start the game, and they haven't closed as it's been zero to zero since. Yeah. Wilmoth up to the line here to cut it back, hopefully to a three-point game. First free throw is no good, so still a four-point game. 44-40, to 40, 2.27 to go here in the fourth period. And as you get down here, it's gut check time for the Rebels. They really need to cash in from the line here. Second free throw by Wilmoth is good. 44-41 now. They trail. The Lady Rebels do. Marion gets it here. The Rebels are trying to get a little bit of pressure going. Marion's got it on the fast break here. They've got numbers. They lose the ball. It's loose. It's going to be picked up, though, by Marion. And now they're going to throw it around here. Call up. Throws it back out in the corner to number 12, Williams. Williams to Cullop. Man's going to drive it around here. Really sort of taking their time. They've got 156 to go here. Driving baseline is number 20, Wagner. No good on the lay-in. Rebound by Morgan Yard. Sorry about that. We Wilmoth with the steal, the Rebels got it. Now, and it's 44-41, 34 seconds to go. Sorry that we cut out again. Timeout called by Tommy Thomas of Patrick Henry. Good timeout right there. Get a play going here. Try to get a three-pointer to tie this thing up. The Lady Rebels trail 44-41 with 32 seconds to go. So we're in for an exciting finish here from Patrick Henry High School. Adam, what are some things? You probably want Jade Miller shooting his three. Deskins can also hit the three. Em Emily Deskins, they're going to screen for Deskins and Jade Miller, I have a feeling. Yeah, let Yarber, come on, let Yarber get a screen there, and you could do a little pick and roll, maybe get two. You got to get points right here, though, if you're the Rebels. Yeah, what they should have been doing is trying to take uh, take advantage of those turnovers that Marion's been having and trying to work it down low and at least keep the score even so they wouldn't have to shoot a three with 30 seconds left is what they should have been doing yeah, the whole well, game. Well, I think if you're Patrick Kennedy right here, you've got to score. You have to score. Some, uh, you can't let them get the ball. Sorry about that. Yar or McCauley went on the drive right there, picked up the foul. So she's going the line here for two free throws, 44-41, the Lady Rebels trail. Hopefully when McCauley gets off the line, we'll only be down by one. McCauley's first free throw is good. And it looks like Hannah Carver is going to come in for Emily Deskins here. We've got 20.6 seconds to go here. The Lady Rebels trail the Hurricanes 44-42 with, like I said, 20 seconds to go. Both teams have seven fouls apiece. Second free throw up by McCauley, and it's good. Timeout, Patrick Henry, 32nd timeout. Good timeout again there. that we've had a really bad internet right now for some reason but 
Marion's got it here, 43-40, or 44-43 here. Yeah, if I were Patrick Henry, I'd force the ball into the hands of Kate Pennington because I think she might be probably the worst free throw shooter out on the court right now. Yarber's going to go ahead and foul Margaret Wagner. Cox. Or was that? Well, that is Wagner. Margaret Wagner. That was a bad idea. Yeah, it was probably Marion's best shooter. Was good by Wagner. The Rebels trail by three. So we got nine seconds to go. Second free throws on the way. <clears throat> Hoping our internet will hold out for the end of the game. We've got 48. And it looks like the Marion Hurricanes are going to win. We've got one second to go as the Lady Rebels trail. And it goes out of bounds off of Patrick Henry. So we've got one second to go. Our Lady Rebels trail by five, 48-43. That's the end of the game, folks. The Lady Rebels fall to the Marion Scarlet Hurricanes, 48-43. Make sure you tune back in for the next game coming up, the boys' varsity. They're getting ready to come out here and start warming up. They'll get started about 8.20. Where it's senior night, it might be around 8.30, so make sure you tune back in around that time. We'll try to get this ironed out. 48-43, the Lady Rebels lose to the Marion Scarlet Hurricanes. As for the Lady Rebels, they move on tomorrow night, and they will play the Northwood Panthers. So we're going to try to broadcast that game as well, so make sure you tune in. It'll start at 6 o'clock from Northwood High School tomorrow night. As for tonight's broadcast, the Rebels were able to cut it back to a three-point game. Didn't lead the whole game, though, so that really set the tone. Man came out, hit that opening three, and really didn't look back till then. The Lady Rebels were able to cut it, but... After that, it was all but lost there for Patrick Henry. We're trying to get some stats lined up here for you. We'll get them on here, and then we'll go off air. So we're going to try to go to a quick commercial break here. As the Patrick Henry boys varsity team is out here getting warmed up. Here on senior night for Patrick Henry. Hello, this is Dylan Hutton of the PH Sports Radio Network, and I have some huge news coming for the football fans of the district. Next football season, I'll be working with Hogahiggy.com to bring the district its first ever live-streamed pregame show. During Hogahiggy game day, we will talk about matchups, interview players and coaches, recap action from the previous week, and do special segments on the schools and towns of the Hogahiggy district. This is something we are all excited about starting, and we would like to have some sponsors to help us out. If you'd like to know more about this new show coming in the fall of 2014, email us at hogogameday at gmail.com. That is H-O-G-O gameday at gmail.com, all lowercase. Also like our new Facebook page by searching for Hogahigi Game Day at the top of your Facebook screen. Now enjoy the rest of tonight's broadcast. Hello, this is Dylan Hutton of the PH Sports Radio Network, and I have some huge news coming for the football fans of the district. Next football season, I'll be working with Hogahiggy.com to bring the district its first ever live-streamed pregame show. During Hogahiggy game day, we will talk about matchups, interview players and coaches, recap action from the previous week, 
and do special segments on the schools and towns of the Hokahiki District. This is something we are all excited about starting, and we would like to have some sponsors to help us out. If you'd like to know more about this new show coming in the fall of 2014, email us at hogogameday at gmail.com. That is H-O-G-O gameday at gmail.com, all lowercase. Also, like our new Facebook page by searching for Hogahigi Game Day at the top of your Facebook screen. Now enjoy the rest of tonight's broadcast.